What's going on Spartans? Real Life Spartan here and today we are going to have a video on how to frame an aquarium into the wall start to finish so you get results like that. But I also want to point out Spartans if you have not yet seen my ultimate basement remodel start to finish video it's worth taking a look at to get some ideas. There's some resources I will get some links in the description below for some of the items that I use as well as some more tutorials out in the near future hopefully. But let's get to the framed aquarium start to finish. The first order of business Spartans was choosing a location for the aquarium to go. There are quite a few variables that come into play when choosing a location for an aquarium. Number one, I wanted to make sure the floor was relatively level. I also wanted to make sure that the wall that we'd be cutting into was not a load bearing wall. Now in this shot here you'll see there is a utility sink back there. That was huge. That minimizes the amount of time taken for water changes having 50, 75 foot long hoses running across the floor, and also just having that water access. There was some electrical work already done back there as you saw in that last shot. This was a plus because it cut down a lot of time needed to get that outlet installed already having the wires there. So this is a shot of the wall again, and I wanna also point out that this is wood paneling. So there will be a wood paneling tutorial in the near future if you Spartans are interested in that. But you can see here, I've used a pencil. It's a 65 gallon aquarium that will be going into the wall. And I also want to point out it is not centered on the wall, unfortunately, because there's an HVAC unit back there and all kinds of other stuff that if I were to center it up, it'd be extremely tricky to get to those areas for access for maintenance. Draining a 65 gallon aquarium to have a little maintenance done on an HVAC unit, no thanks. So you can see here I marked with blue painter's tape where the stand itself was going to get assembled. So just to give you an idea about how tight the space is back there, you can see if I were to center the tank up and move it more to the left side, it would be so hard to squeeze back in there. Precision and accuracy by my father. Now I did a little bit of the work too with the reciprocating tool, but I wanted to get some documented footage but now we have to get rid of those two by fours, Spartans. All right, Spartans, so now we are at the point of no return. There's a huge hole in the wall and the two by fours are still there, but we went ahead and used a multi-purpose tool with a special attachment. And now you can see here is the stand itself that my father, he takes all the credit for. He built this thing. It's actually built into the framework of the wall itself and it is a juggernaut. It will not buckle under weight. Here's a piece of plywood that we also double checked to make sure was pretty level. And you can see my father also used the leftover plywood to add a storage area below for my filter and other miscellaneous supplies. I also rolled paint on the aquarium stand itself to make it pop a little bit, but also to help with some moisture control if water ever does come in contact with the wood. I wanted to put this picture up there one more time because you can notice the plywood is flush with the wall and the tank itself is flush with the wall. It does not recede back at all. We had to get a little creative with the building of the stand itself, but definitely if you're gonna frame a tank in the wall, you want to think about how you're going to get the glass itself to be flush with the wall. Here's where it finally started to come to life. We tested out the hole to make sure it was large enough with the tank itself in there. And now it's on to the trim itself. I went ahead and used a miter saw and put all the trim in and then I wanted to finish it out. I wanted it to look as professional as possible so I used painter's tape, I taped around everything and then I applied some flexible caulk to help seal it all in and make it blend and look like it was just part of the wall from the start. Here's a shot showing you that. We're now on the final stretch Spartans. This is where the fun really starts. So here's my Jeep aka the Warthog. I got a brute trash can in there. I think it's a 44 gallon. I have a python hose with a pump running to that super sketchy extension cord rig and it is pumping the water directly into my 65 gallon tank. Here's some miscellaneous stuff. I have some dry base rock, some live rock, my filter, more miscellaneous equipment and just walk on over here. I'm currently wrapping up an entire basement remodel overhaul so be sure to check out my MLG basement remodel video. Not sure when it's going to go up. It may be up before this video. But we're slowly pumping that in there. MLG double angle, double angle. Barnes, I hope you're enjoying this aquarium video so far. I'll have some more fish related content out in the near future, like how to set up an aquarium. It can be a daunting task, but the results are very rewarding. All right, Spartans, so we're getting that foundation established. We are getting that live rock back into the aquarium because I actually had all of this rock and livestock in a 46 gallon aquarium for five years prior. So now we are pumping some more salt water into the tank. You can see I'm using a lid to help diffuse the water so that it does not cloud up. And now we're filling it up, Spartans. All 65 gallons just filling to the brim. 
And now, Spartans, the fish, they are awaiting eagerly. They are anxious to get to their larger home. We must let them get to that home. Let's get Nemo out first to survey the lands. under the sand, you might ask? A Melinaris Ras. They prefer to go under sand when they feel threatened, and they also sleep under sand at night. Now you can see here, as soon as he comes out of the container, back under the sand like a torpedo he goes. I keep my glass crystal clear using the flipper. Let's go ahead and take a look at the finished build. I hope you enjoyed this start to finish framed in aquarium video here. This ultimately was just, as I said earlier, a dream of mine ever since I was a kid. I always wanted to have an aquarium framed in the wall, just like a living piece of art. And lastly, I want to thank my father, who again was a huge resource and a lot of help during the entire process. So Spartans, I'm going to just cap this video out with a before and after shot. And as always, stay strong out there. <laughs>